You know, you've been an accomplished actress, you know, for, for a long time. Yes. You know, with, with the Seinfeld thing, if I could just ask you a couple questions about Seinfeld. Have you been amazed at how many doors the Seinfeld experience has opened for you? I was very successful BS before Seinfeld. Yeah. But Seinfeld really, um, Everyone watches it. Everyone is thrilled with it, all ages, like Toy Story, all ages. Yeah. And, uh, and of course it opened doors, yeah. and it was a delightful six years. Yeah. Uh, it was wonderful. Yeah. When you walk down the street now, what kind of comments do you get from people? What are the normal, usual comments that you get about various roles? I love you. You're just <laughs> like my mother. All Asians, uh, African Americans, uh, uh, everybody, Italians, Jews, Catholics, and, uh, uh, Buddhas. I love you. You're just like my mother. So I'm glad that I, uh, I portray the, the uh, normal or abnormal mother. <laughs> now, I didn't realize that your, your musical background, uh, I mean, is that something, I mean, like on Seinfeld, did you ever want to showcase? Did you ever push for that at all? No, because um, uh, I don't have a trained voice, uh, but I hold a tune, and I'm good at belting yeah. out things, and I'm good at telling the story with words and a voice. So uh, again, I, 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 uh, I, I love uh, uh, writers. In my next life, maybe I'll be a, lo a writer, and uh, I like to do their words and make them as real as they were written. So when I sing, I do that. Yeah. Well, a question about Toy Story 2. I think a lot of people think that voice work like this is like a radio play where everybody is in a big room with scripts. And in reality, you're by yourself. At Disney. <laughs> some, some places, uh, no. Yeah. But at Disney, you are by yourself, and there's a camera on you. So that, um, but you're not supposed to think about that, and yeah. I never do. Uh, so that whatever movements you do, yeah. if they like them, they can incorporate them into the characters yeah. when, they, when they animate. Yeah and uh, uh, you're alone. Now, how surreal is it to sit there and look out and see these faces looking back at you? And do you ever wonder if they're talking about you behind your back? No, don't think about, don't think about anything. I don't think about cameras, I don't think about people, I don't think about uh, anything except what I'm saying and who I am. And uh, that takes concentration. And uh, you're not to be distracted by anything. You know, the thing about uh, Toy Story 2 is, you know, Disney does a wonderful job marketing. You know, and they have, have all this, you know, they got this, the well-oiled machine of getting a product out. Now, how, how fascinating for you to watch this whole thing unveil as it comes out into the public? Is it kind of it's, awe-inspiring? It's, it's amazing. First of all, I have to tell you that Toy Story 2 was supposed to go straight to vis video and not to the, uh, uh, to the theater. But it turned out to be so wonderful. And, uh, and so on Sunset Boulevard in California, there are these big posters of us, you know, of each character. And uh, people say, you're on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I think they're doing a marvelous job, and they should, because it is a sensational, exciting, thrilling, marvelous movie. These toys are not toys. They're people. They're real. They're wonderful. You know, so let's like, talk about your stage career first. Yes. Uh, Ms. Curious, you know, these days you go to a play yes. and, uh, you know, etiquette has changed. People have cell phones going off and I know. beepers. Have you ever been completely thrown off by something going on in the audience during a show? Yes. Once I was doing um, Come Back Little Sheba and it was in the round. And, uh, and the, these were tables all around, uh, chairs all around on the same level. And uh, I was in the, in the scene where I'm really talking about what once was. And there was this whole family eating potato chips and pretzels <laughs> right on top of me, you know, because it was crowded. And do you know what I did? I did something terrible. But I stopped and I just stared at them until they stopped. And then I went on, and they didn't eat, and everything was fine. 